Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, teamosso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. It's in the description below, teamosso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing the Meistersinger Soltora Meta X, a sports-style watch launched back in 2017. It's 43 millimeters in diameter. 14.5 millimeters thick and from lug to lug 51.4 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. At first glance, this looks like a dive watch, and while it certainly has dive watch durability and water resistance, there is one specific reason why this is a sports watch and not specifically a dive watch. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see it wears well. I wouldn't recommend it for a wrist smaller than 15 centimeters circumference because it is a big watch and it is broad across the wrist, but you can see that it hugs the wrist nicely thanks to those sharply downturned lugs. You can really see from this angle, the down the barrel shot, that on my wrist, it helps to work with me. So while I'm borderline for wearing this watch, the lugs don't flare out as if they were straight. They're curved and they wrap and they shrink away. Visually, it's a good look. The watch isn't as thick as I expected, but nor is it a watch that would necessarily cooperate with the tightest of cuffs. You should be okay with a jacket though. Now, quick over the top shot so you have that view. Taking a look at the strap, it's an unusual piece. Uh, first of all, it's rubberized on its top and its side. And the rubberized coatings actually echo the colors of the dial, namely matte black and what can only be described as perhaps a spearmint green. So on the underside, you can see it's conventional calfskin, and it is a leather strap, but it's rubberized on the top and the sides, which adds a little bit of security against splashes, but you're still going to want to put this on a water-resistant strap to swim with it. It's a brand new Meistersinger factory strap, and as you can see, the watch is matched with a simple stainless steel Meistersinger pin buckle. Now take a look at the case, and it is surprisingly nuanced. Although massive, it is not without its charms. It has a lovely setback case back, so it appears visually thinner than it is when it's on the wrist. The underside of the case and the upper side of the case band, both polished, contrast handsomely with the satin finished mid case. And you can see the same treatment is bestowed on the lugs, which feature a diminishing taper that extends the mid case beveling. And then you can see that they're relatively thin in profile, so they're not physically massive, nor are they inelegant. They have a lovely curvature, almost like an eagle's claw. Taking a look at the crown guards, you can see they are handsomely pointed, like some vintage Rolex models, polished on their top and satinated on their sides. You have the Meistersinger logo on the crown, and then you have a captive bezel, and this, this whole captive bezel thing is a sign of over-engineering, which is a good thing from a watch collector standpoint. These little screws hold the bezel to the case. You can also see it on hardcore sports watches, like those made by Zinn, and also Rolex, or excuse me, Breitling, Rolex rival Breitling. The nice thing about this compared to, say, a Rolex is that whereas a Rolex bezel can be snapped off by impact, this cannot be. It has to be disabled by disassembly before the bezel can be removed. Let's have a listen. It is a very sharp and positive detent, 120 clicks, so you can precisely locate the luminescent bezel pearl on the minute hand, and this is a large minute watch. The timepiece is easy to read in the dark and the loom shot is spectacular, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. The bezel insert is ceramic, so highly scratch resistant. It acts as a heat shield for the rest of the watch to protect it from scratches. The dial does feature applique indices, which you can see outboard. They are rhodium plated steel. And so this is not just a printed dial. It does have an applique element that raises the perceived status of the watch in the wristwatch luxury pecking order. Printed dials are generally considered to be entry level. This manages to feature prominent printed features without being, quote, a printed dial, thanks to those appliques. You'll also note that the minute hand is enormous. Meistersinger gained its reputation as a manufacturer of one-hand watches, but this watch features one hand and a jumping hour, which you'll note is surrounded by a polished and concave frame. It's a nice luxury refinement. You can see there's also a triangular index up at 12 o'clock to remind you. Taking a quick look at how all this works, it works quite well, but before I go and jump the hour, I'm actually going to do the loom shot mid-video. As you can see, the loom is unbelievable. The bezel is fully loomed, meaning everything, not just the bezel pearl, is completely readable in the dark. But because the watch does not have a running seconds or operation indicator, something that is constantly moving, it is not, strictly speaking, a dive watch. Also, should the hour jump 
in the dark, it has to be charged up by exposure to ambient light, and the subsequent hour underneath the dial cannot be. So this is why the watch is not considered a dive watch. Primarily, it's the fact that it does not have a running seconds or operation indicator. Now the timepiece, as you can see, features a solid case back, and what's underneath is a Salida SW200, 26 joules, bi-directional automatic winding, 4 hertz beat rate, stop seconds, 38 hour power reserve, tank tough, very reliable, and universally serviceable, water resistant down to 200 meters. And yes, it does feature a stop seconds function, though there is no seconds hand. If you pull the crown out to the setting position, it will stop advancing. So if you want, for whatever reason, to freeze the time, it does have a hacking function. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this German-designed, Swiss-made jump hour.